How's it going everyone? Got a ton of PlayStation Store updates to catch up on. Obviously, Wave 2 of the deals have kicked off and I do want to reiterate the fact that the first round of deals are going to be ending here tonight. So if you want anything, uh, do pick it up ASAP. The PlayStation UK Twitter account did um, pretty much say the exact same PSA. The first half of the PlayStation Store's January sale ends tonight. Grab Gran Turismo 7 on sale before midnight and you can hit the track with a free PSVR 2 update on February. February 22nd. So yeah, that's a thing as well. I don't know why in particular they're promoting GT7. I guess with the VR2 upgrade coming out, uh, it is something that's worthwhile to promote. Nonetheless, uh, we ran through a lot of the deals from the first wave of the sales. Check out those videos. Pretty much like the majority of those deals all end on January 7th. There's like a couple titles here and there that do run the entirety of the sale. But for the most part, the majority of them are ending uh, tonight. So that was wave one. We talked about stuff like 13 Sentinels, we talk stuff like Horizon Forbidden West. There's a lot of great deals available right now. Just check out those videos. A lot of you guys own a lot of those games, but I'm sure you can find quite a few stuff. Before we get into the video, if you want to help out the channel, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below with all of your thoughts. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification icon so you are notified whenever we upload a video. Now let's go through the new batch of deals. Now I'm using psdeals.net just because they have it worked out out where it's the newest game showcase first so it's a really good way to run them down if you guys are interested in utilizing that site great website it's just a little bit harder to follow on the playstation store's website right now uh you know a lot of the typical stuff ghost of tsushima director's cut 29.39 for that is very good it's available on plus extra but that's a fantastic game and i would just say you know if you're not down with subscription services go buy it it's a fantastic title and um love the whole narrative to it and i always talk about this when i talk about ghost of tsushima but if you rag on Jin as a main character i just feel like you didn't understand the story the game was trying to tell the game is called ghost of tsushima it's this narrative arc of Jin becoming the ghost of tsushima and i thought they did a really good job with it maybe i'm insane as far as that's concerned but i remember that being a pretty big talking point when this game initially came out back in the summer of 2020 but yeah i thought that was completely misdirected but nonetheless 23 uh 20 $29.39, really good price. If you do want it on PS4, that's $19.79. You do pay the upcharge on PS5, which is a little bit of a bummer, but the PS5 version is quite good. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, $29.39 for that awesome game, just a little bit on the shorter side, which I could understand why you would be pushed away from spending $70 on it, but $29.39 is really good. I do imagine the game will at some point be added to PlayStation Plus Extra, but hey, I thought it was going to happen sometime in 2022. So that's a game they still have in their back pocket to ultimately add to Plus Extra. Returnal, $29.39 for that. That's available on Plus Extra. Kind of a hefty price point. It is a game that I enjoyed, but I was a big Housemark fan, and I understand. Like, I talked to people that wanted to break their controller while playing Returnal. The updates and whatnot, definitely do make it a more accessible experience so bear that in mind as well and you know taking the house mark design and dropping it in a triple a game uh turned out pretty well as far as the particle effects go man they really transitioned that well into a big budget title zag boy a big adventure for 1979 i think is quite good that's a solid platformer all things considered obviously it's not like little big planet zag boy is just like the mascot but it's a good platformer and i would check it out miles morales ultimate edition that of course includes spider-man remaster that is 39.89 demon souls 29.39 um what you're gonna see is they have a lot of like complete editions on sale like initially with the first wave of the deals they had uh just the standard versions of certain games on sale one example being red dead 2 red dead 2 ultimate edition is 30 dollars hey i'd be down to pay 30 dollars for a red dead 2 ultimate edition if it had a ps5 upgrade but hey do you guys want me to be a broken record with that yet again red dead 2 is an awesome game arthur morgan is one of the goaded main characters and i would definitely recommend you to play through the campaign if you haven't but um yeah 30 fps is kind of a deal breaker for me as far as playing that game on the ps PS5 at this stage of the game. Alan Wake Remastered, 50% off for $15. I love me Alan Wake. I know that, you know, from a gameplay standpoint, it's definitely not like the best game in the uh, eyes of the 2023 audience, but it's fine enough, and I thought the atmosphere, the narrative, I thought those elements were really good. I wasn't as hot on the DLC content, but for 15 bucks, I think it's a pretty good price. Disco Elysium, the final cut, 50% off for $19.99. The bummer about this is Disco Elysium is regularly sold on PC for $9.99, so it's kind of 
it's kind of lame that you do got to pay double the price on PlayStation, but the PlayStation version has held up more so in price. I want to say that Disco Elysium saw a release on uh, PlayStation 4 and 5 well after the PC release, so that might have something to do with it. Nonetheless, it's a very, very good game, very well written. A little bit of a slower paced methodical title so you got to know what you're getting yourself into but definitely a high quality narrative driven title we got assassin's creed the Ezio collection 70 percent off for 12 dollars i mean the ac2 trilogy at this point is like iconic to several people um for a lot of people assassin's creed 2 is their favorite game in the history of the franchise um and i love the assassin's creed 2 trilogy don't get it twisted it's just you know ac2 did come out back in 2009 but i feel like you could still go back to it and have a pretty good time with it um you know it's just a fun open world game and Ezio is one of the more engaging uh main characters that you're gonna come across in a video game very very likable in that regard last guardian 9.99 pretty good there uh yakuza zero for four bucks is really good yakuza six the song of life for four dollars those are obviously really good deals available through extra as well nino kuni wrath of the white witch remastered we got that for 9.99 excellent jrpg deal right there nino kuni is a game that i think is pretty accessible to newcomers of jrpgs obviously you got that fantastic studio ghibli style art style and uh, that's going to be right up the alleys of a lot of people you got scarlet nexus man 75 percent off for 15 dollars this might be the sleeper deal as far as all of the deals that i've seen thus far um i love scarlet nexus i thought this was a fantastic game i thought the soundtrack was great i thought the cast of characters was solid um you know, as far as the two main characters, I think more people gravitated towards Kasane, but nonetheless, Yuito was fine as well. And a gameplay style is really good. The only real drawback to this game is much of the narrative is told through a visual novel style uh, presentation that I know is going to be off-putting to some people. I found it fine just because, you know, I played games like Danganronpa, A of the Somnium Files, etc., etc. So Scarlet Nexus was pretty accessible to me. And there are cutscenes for the bigger moments of the game, but, um, you know, it's not as abundant as what you're going to see in that visual novel style. Wolfenstein 2, the new cost for $6 is ridiculously good. Strong recommendation there. Ace Combat 7, Skies are known for $9. Obviously, great action flight title. Strong recommendation there as well. Batman Return to Arkham, Arkham Asylum, and Arkham City for five dollars obviously a really good deal there at this point i imagine most of you guys at least played these games on the ps3 but if you want to revisit them arkham asylum and arkham city are really good and arkham city is actually my favorite of the uh of the main arkham titles uh honestly it's my favorite of all the arkham titles like yeah there's arkham origins arkham origins blackgate but i do think arkham city is better than that uh assassin's creed syndicate 70 percent off for nine dollars uh ac syndicate is a game that i often talk up I don't believe they've yet to fix this game on the PlayStation 5. I actually tried to replay it pretty recently, like a couple months ago, and it was it was a disaster. I, I heard about this game having problems, and I, I didn't really quite comprehend the level of problems that this game has on PlayStation 5. Literally unplayable from my experience. The little bit that I did play when I wanted to replay this game, literally unplayable. Like, uh, yeah, like if you're trying to play this game on PS5, wait for Ubisoft to fix it. I believe they said that they were going to fix it, so... Hopefully that will happen soon. Death Training Director's Cut, 60% off for $19.99. Death Training is a game that I recommend everybody to play. It's definitely a game that's not for everybody, but uh, it's such a unique game, and it's a game that definitely does get frustrating at times, but uh, so quirky, so different, and they are going to do a follow-up, so, you know, check it out if you're interested. Um, we have Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age, $25 for this. This is pretty pricey. FF12 is great, in my opinion. I know that back in 06, I remember the rhetoric around this game was like some people really liked it, other people not so much, just because it was very much a shift from uh, Final Fantasy battle systems in years past. And honestly, Vaughn isn't the most engaging main character in FF uh, in FF history. Honestly, like Ash comes across more as the main character in this game. But uh, FF12 is still a solid game, and there's a lot of content to the game as well. I liked the whole battle system and everything they were going for with that. I know that was the element a lot of people had pushback with, but $25 is super pricey, man, for a PS2 game. A very nice upgrade on a PS2 game, but that is definitely pricey. Odin Sphere Left Trace there. Uh, we got that for $15. Really good price for Odin Sphere. Odys uh, always recommend just Vanillaware titles in general. 13 Sentinels has definitely taken my spot as my favorite Vanillaware title, but Odin Sphere can I can't remember that classic on PS2. Like, I, I, I remember Odin's Fear was actually a game that around that time, you were, like, seeing that game being promoted quite a lot when it initially came out. I believe it ended up being a greatest hits title on the PS2, and this is a nice upgrade of that game. 
It's just, you know, don't be spending $60 or $50 or whatever the MSRP is. I believe it's $60. $15, much better uh, as far as that's concerned. Rayman Legends, $5. Sultan Sanctuary, $3.59. That's actually a low-key banger of a deal as well. Little Nightmares 2 for $9.89. That is a super, super good deal. A really good atmospheric survival horror uh, platformer. Uh, $9.89 is a really good price for that, but play the first one. It was a uh, PlayStation Plus uh, Essential freebie not too long ago, so a lot of you guys probably have it in your library. Uh, we got UFC 4, 10, 19. How about Dana White smacking his way for that? That was that was one of the most insane things I've ever seen. Like, 2023 has already been absolutely nuts, but, like, then you just hop on Twitter and that's what you immediately see? Like, yeah, come on, man. Uh, but 10, 19 for UFC 4. I mean, if you're... No, I feel like the UFC games are, like, mindless fun, so I, I enjoy them, but, um... Yeah, uh, there you go. 1019, I think, is a pretty decent price. What else we got? FF10 and 102 HD remastered, 12.49 on that. Really good price for FF10. FF10, and I said this before, but it definitely shows its age. Like you guys gotta remember, FF10 came out back in 2001. It's kind of wild to think it's been like 22 years since this game has come out, but like nonetheless, stiff animation. Some of the voice acting isn't the greatest, but man, the overall story to the game is great. The battle theme is still something I listen to regularly. Like, I think this has one of the best battle themes. 10-2 is kind of memes, but 10 is a classic. And even 10-2 is not like that bad, but uh, 10 is really what people are after. Catherine Full Body, $9.99. I always talk up Catherine. I think it's a pretty good time. It's super, super quirky, super zany. Uh, definitely not for everyone, but uh, a interesting narrative-driven puzzle title that uh, obviously has like a big romance aspect to it as well. $9.99, pretty good price on that. Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition, $8. Another game I constantly talk up. Yuri is like one of my favorite JRPG main characters, and the whole cast is just really, really likable. The overall story, I think, is good. I wouldn't say it's like completely blow away, but it's fine. Um, with Vesperia, you know, the battle system, I know some people find it to be a little bit dated, and you gotta remember, this game came out back in, like, August of 2008, so it's been, like, a long, long time, and, uh, yeah, you can't expect everything to have the visual bump that Arise is giving you, you know, a 2021 game, but Vesperia's really good, 8 bucks, again, I think that's a really good price. Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition, $19.99 for that. DMC5 is awesome, uh, it would've been nice if you, the owners of a PS4 version could've gotten, like, a free upgrade, or at least pay, like, 5 to 10 bucks for the upgrade, but, hey, what can you do? It's a great game, runs really well on the PS5, already ran really well, uh, initially, and a fantastic soundtrack here as well, like, obviously, Devil Trigger, like, you can't go wrong with music like that. Mirror's Edge Catalyst is two bucks. Honestly, for two bucks, that's like kind of an insane deal. Danganronpa 1 and 2 Reload for $8 is really good as well. That's a banger of a deal. And Danganronpa was a game that I played when it initially came out on the Vita. And um, I was listening to a podcast and they just kept talking up Danganronpa. And I was like, all right, bro. I was at the store and I was like, oh, let's just buy it and see what it was. And then, I swear, I played that game for, like, an hour, absolutely hooked to it. I beat the game in, like, two days, like, absolutely no life did it. And then Danganronpa 2, in my opinion, is even better than Danganronpa 1. Um, it's very much a story-driven game. It's a visual novel. Great soundtrack here as well, but uh, a lot of twists and turns. And how everything, like, connects back together, like, with the ending of Danganronpa 1, like, the twists and all that... I won't get into it since it's very much story driven, but they did a really good job with it, so definite recommendation there. Okami HD 999, Bayonetta 874, 7 Days to Die, 3 bucks. FF9, 1049, a lot of talk about a potential remake for FF9. I think people would be really excited about that, but uh, yeah, that is the original version. Upgraded a little bit, but uh, not a full on remake, of course. Uh, Metro Exodus Gold Edition is 999, Risk of Rain 2, 624, a very replayable game and an addicting game as well. That is a game that is ideal to play with a couple friends, but, uh, yeah, do check that out. Crisis Remastered Trilogy, $27.49. Nice to see that get a little bit cheaper as, you know, the weeks and months roll on since that game's initial release. But, uh, I loved Crisis 2. Crisis 1 was also really good. Crisis 3, eh, not as big of a fan, but still pretty decent, uh, all things considered. Dying Light the Following, Enhanced Edition, uh, $8.99. Metro Exodus, $7.49 for the base game. Scott Pilgrim, The World. Naruto Trilogy, $9.99. Dot Hack G U Last Recode, $4.99. Insane deal there. Uh, that's awesome. Like, guys, I paid 40 bucks a pop or like 50 bucks a pop, whatever the price was when it initially came out on each of the Dot Hack G U games. Like, uh, I believe Bandai Namco was publishing the games at the time, and they obviously published this uh, collection, but man, yo, if you were a fan of Dot Hack, you got absolutely taken to the cleaners, because people were dropping like 40, 50 bucks on the original set of games, and then you drop 40, 50 bucks on the new set of the GU titles, and man, you were just absolutely 
Uh, your wallet got destroyed by Dot Hack, but like, what can you do? Dot Hack is awesome, and guess what? You now get the entire trilogy of GU and a fourth smaller episode for five bucks. That's just like absolutely ridiculous, and I would definitely check that out. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here. We're already running kind of long, but you know, this is just a couple pages worth of deals. Wanted to talk a little bit more about the stuff that I did really notice, but yeah, going through this sale deeper and deeper, there's a lot of good stuff here, so definitely go check it out for yourself. Sorry that we are a little bit late on this video but um yeah better late than never and wanted to give you guys a nice insight into it remember wave one deals end tonight so go check out our other videos you know if you, if there's anything you want to pick up just uh do that as soon as possible but that'll do it for me let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below sound off down there thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.